What's up guys on YouTube, NGS here, and it's time for vlog number 35, I believe. Yes, 35, 35. Um, anyway, you know, just another summer day today on Monday, July, no, not July, August 3rd. August 3rd already, wow. I go back to school in about a, a month or so. Oh man. The summer was good so far. I still have a month where I'm going to, you know, do some more stuff. Um... You know, just, you know, really looking forward to, no, I'm not looking forward to school, no. But, you know, it's just, I like school in some cases because, you know, I get to see all my friends and, you know, that stuff. And it, school does pass the time for, you know, the new games to come out. And, you know, it's pretty cool. It's more, it's more better than waiting on a summer day, like, for two months straight just for one game to come out. It just makes more sense during school to wait because, you know, it's more of a pumped up because you've been doing all this work. And, yeah, that's what I think, at least. Um... Anyway, I'm going to be talking about some stuff in this vlog. Uh, I found out one new thing about Revolution 3, and I'm going to be talking about other stuff. Okay, um, first thing, like, well, not yesterday. This morning at, like, around 4 a.m., I was talking to my friend Nick on the phone. And um, we were we just talked about, you know, Call of Duty and stuff, and then, like, somehow we got into Naruto. And then he's like, you know what I don't get? I'm like, what? He's like, out of all the people in Naruto, who the hell is Ten Ten? Where does she come from? And I'm just like, seriously, where does Ten Ten come from? They explained every other character's past in the show, even like Iruka, and Iruka's not that important anymore, and it's like Tenten's just there. They go so far to explain everyone else's but not hers, and I'm just like, wow, it's like he completely forgot her and he just, you know, threw that in so the team will be complete, and I'm like, wow. Um, so, you know, that was pretty funny, and yeah, if you actually look at it, it does make sense. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching my video game reviews that I did on Budokai and Burst Limit. Um, that was just something I threw together in around five minutes. I'm going to be making more video game reviews. I have two more that I'm going to be editing today. Um, you guys are going to be pretty happy on what they are because they're Naruto games, but I'm not giving any hints. One of you guys probably knows which one it is. It's a game that we all want, but it's never going to get here. So yeah, so you guys probably know. And if you know, don't answer on the bottom because, you know, I want it to be a surprise. Um... So, you, you know, look forward to those. Um, as far as Naruto Clash and Revolution 3, okay. Um, I found out some new info from the Hokage, you know, the Hokage. Um, um, he said that the game might be delayed a month. And I'm, everyone, people who I told are going to be pissed, like, oh no, it's going to be delayed a month. And in my opinion, I'm happy that it's going to be delayed because they'll give them more time to um, fix other stuff like the Wi-Fi because we all know we don't want the Wi-Fi to be laggy. So a whole nother month, you guys, you know, you, you, it's, it's not that big a deal. I mean, I don't care. I don't even know if it's going to be fully delayed. We'll have to wait for info. But if it is delayed, you know, I don't care because that'll give them time to work out the bugs in the game. Hopefully it won't be as broken as Revolution 2. My God, Revolution 2 is so broken, it's not even funny. And I think that the story is only going to be the Rescue Gar arc, you guys, because just look at it. The Hokage even said it's going to be the Rescue Gar arc. The people making the game says it's going to be the Rescue Gar arc. And I just think it's going to be a Rescue Gar arc, and it might have maybe some people, like Sai, maybe, from the next arc, because um, I think they did that in one game, like... Uh, I don't know which game they did, but they had some characters from, you know, next games. But I don't know. I think it's only the Rescue Gar arc, you guys, because that'll give them more to put in the next game. Okay, here we go. First game, Rescue Gar arc. Second game, you have the whole Sai thing, you got the Sasuke thing, and you got the Hidan and Kakusu one, hopefully. So I think, you know, that's, that's a pretty good deal on our end to get all the new stuff in the game. Why put so much in one game? What's gonna see the sequel gonna be like? If they do put Sasuke and all that stuff in one game, you guys... What's going to be in the next game? I mean, Japan can't possibly catch up to the manga in, like, one year. Because they're already way far behind. Unless they, like, cut the fillers from now. But, you know, it's Japan. And they keep wanting to put filler strain. And one last thing about Revolution 3. I was watching an interview that people did um, with one of the people from Tomy, And they were talking about the game. And they said that certain characters in the game, the older characters, are going to be overhauled. Like they said, Kakashi and Tsunade. Those are the ones they mentioned are going to have a new overhaul or something. Now Kakashi so far I've seen he has some new jutsus and stuff. He doesn't look like he has any new combos and stuff which kind of sucks because I want the older people to have new combos and Tsunade from the looks of the trailer I saw she has the same jutsu and I'm just wondering they should overhaul the older characters to give them new combos 
that'll be more, you know, fun to do instead of keeping the same old stuff. And I've been receiving numerous questions saying, do a video of DBZ versus Naruto, Naruto versus Bleach, you know, etc. Well, you guys, I'm not going to do those videos because um, there are going to be haters, and there are going to be, like, bashers and supporters, and I don't want that type of stuff happening. Um, because, you know, Bleach, Naruto, DBZ, they're great shows, but they all have their downfalls in their opinion. Like Naruto, for example. Masashi Kishimoto keeps using the same recurring theme in the entire show, and he doesn't really, you know, delve into character development that well. Um, Bleach, well this one I'm not gonna say it's um, Tite Kubo's fault, I'm just gonna say it's the anime. Bleach is fucking filler. It's been in filler so many times, it's not even funny. And I, I really want to get into Bleach, but I'm not gonna sit through that entire filler crap. Um, DBZ, you know, endless filler and way too much fights in that show. Way too much. Found out some new info on the upcoming Naruto games coming out in Japan, Excel 3, and the new Naruto 10th Anniversary game. Okay, so let's start out with the 10th Anniversary. They have officially titled that game, Naruto Shippuden Ryu Jinki. Sounds weird, Ryu Jinki. Um, it looks pretty awesome, the graphics look pretty damn good for a Wii game, and it's everyone's in those weird outfits, and you have um, this weird mission to complete. It looks pretty cool. It's gonna be like one of those things, like you know how on the um, PS2 you have Ultimate Ninja, and then you have the Uzumaki Chronicles series? It's gonna be like on the Wii, you have the Clash of Ninja series, and then you have this Ryu Jinki. So it's not Clash of Ninja 4, you guys. Um, it's coming out November 26th, so I don't think an EX4 is going to be coming out until next year. You know, it's kind of su sucks. Um, and, you know, that's it. Naruto Shippuden Ryu Jinki. It looks pretty damn cool. Um, the next thing, Excel 3. Um, new characters were confirmed. The Kakashi Guiding characters are going to be in the game, apparently. So that's Obito, Rin, Young Kakashi, and uh, Four Fokage. So that's pretty cool. Um... I think that's it for XL3. It's, it's gonna have four players, which is kind of weird. It takes away from the Ultimate Ninja, you know, experience. <sighs> this next thing I want to talk about is kind of important. Um, I really want to shed some new light on this situation because I've been on forums and I am just, like, so, you know, pissed. And actually, I'm just laughing, actually, because these people can be so ignorant. Like, the people on the Naruto forums and the Bleach forums. But, um... Yeah, so just a quick question, quick two questions, you guys. Um, who edited One Piece? I'm just wondering that. If you guys know the true answer, don't comment on it. Don't put anything. Just answer, who edited One Piece? Who do you think? Don't, like, you know, lie. Just who do you think edited One Piece? And the next one I want to ask is, um, why did Cartoon Network t and take off Toonami and anime? Just answer that question. Just why? Just why did they take it off? Just wondering. And, um... So answer those questions, and in my next vlog, I'm gonna, you know, fully answer them, explain the truth, and some of you guys are gonna be shocked at the answer it's gonna be. It kinda sucks that, um, Shippuden's not gonna be airing on TV, apparently, because usually in anime, it releases it on TV, then on DVD. But, you know, at conventions, the sponsors have said, oh, this is the only way you can see Naruto Shippuden on DVD and on iTunes. So, you know, that pretty much sucks. Um, and people are complaining a lot like, oh, why doesn't Cartoon Network just put on Naruto Shippuden? Well, when I answer my questions in the next video, oh my god, I might get a lot of hate comments for this. But, you know, well, some of you are going to be understanding. You'll know why. But when I answer it in my next video, it's, it's, it's going to, like, at first you're going to be shocked. And then, like, if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense why... It's not on TV. Oh, and um, people have been wondering about that thing I was talking about. You know how my last account I was gonna make this game show called Game Spark, like you know where it's like a video game review show where you know I review games. I like maybe in holiday episodes I'll tell you what you want to buy or something and stuff like that. Well, the reason why I kind of stopped doing that is because the whole you know YouTube thing, how it, it won't let you do videos past 11 minutes and I really wanted each episode to be like you know maybe 15 16 minutes long because I'll, I'm, I'll do like three video game reviews and you know what to and not to for games um, but you know that sucks how YouTube can only give you 11 minutes I know some people know some hacks to get um, past 11 minutes but you know I'm not really good to do that um, so you know that kinda sucks because I, I really wanted to um, you know make that a really good show I don't want to do it in parts because, like, episode 1, episode 2, episode 3, because, you know, it really wouldn't make sense. I want people to just watch the whole thing, you know, right there. Um, so, you know, that's basically what, what I don't like about YouTube. Um, oh yeah, that, that thing with YouTube, that thing with the messages that's going all screwy, um, like, when you go to your inbox, it says all your messages, and then, like, the new message, messages are all grayed out. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I click them and I have to answer them. And it, it keeps saying one shared for you and all that stuff. So YouTube's, you know, being buggy now. 
and it kind of sucks that I can't delete my messages because every day I log in, it's like 200 messages next day, 300, and I'm like, I can't delete them, and I'm just so pissed. Um, but, you know, ooh, ice cream truck's going by. You know, might get some ice cream, maybe. But, um, you know, that's basically what I don't like about YouTube right now. Some new stuff. Call of Duty, Map Pack 3, um, what's it called? Darice is coming out this Friday, so, you know, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, can't wait to play it. I just wish there was, like, a, a, zo a giant zombie or, like, a giant, like, you know, zombie, you know, sort of like a tank from Left 4 Dead, but a giant zombie that you all have to shoot down and kill. That's what I just hope that they put in, um... Call of Duty, Map Pack 3, you know, something interesting besides just zombies, dogs, and upgradable weapons. Thank you guys for always watching my videos. I've hit over 1,100 subscribers. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, really looking forward to the new games that are coming up. You know, a lot of new games are actually coming up this fall. Um, I think that's basically it. So, you know, this is Neo Game Store, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. This was vlog number 35, I want to believe. I put some shoutouts in the, you know, box or the box or the box. I don't know because, like, you know, the way I record this, the thing is flipped so I can see myself. So it's in the box. I put two shoutouts. Um, so, you know, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Catch you guys later. I've got to stop doing this. People keep complaining. Oy.